to do a video on uh, lying signs and wonders that could possibly be used in these last days through instruments such as CERN and HARP. I did a video uh, probably a couple months ago on the HARP uh, instrument, um, how uh, we can um, interfere or scientists can interfere with the ionosphere. Uh, lying signs and wonders could be produced by that, by that harp instrument in the last days. I also believe that CERN could play a huge part in these lying signs and wonders in the last days. And as we all know, there is a very big spiritual slash pagan connection with CERN. The fact that the goddess Shiva is, uh, has been placed on the outside of CERN is very telling to me. It's very, they're looking into things that are not just physical, they're looking into extra dimensions, they're looking into the spiritual, and it's very evil and very pagan. And I do believe um, the Lord led me to Revelation 13, 14, uh, and what caught my attention concerning the lying signs and wonders that the Lord warned us about in these final days. It says here, and deceives them that dwell on the earth by the means of of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. And here, the Lord got my attention. He deceives those who live on the earth by the means of those miracles. Notice it's lying signs and wonders. They're not true signs and wonders. They're not true miracles. They're lying signs and wonders. And it says here that <clears throat> the man of sin is able to deceive all that dwell on the earth by the means. So what does that, what does that mean exactly? the means. It means the way that these miracles are produced, he's able to, like the, the conduit through which these, these false lying signs and wonders are produced, uh, uh, they're, they're not real signs and wonders and miracles. So they're coming through a means or a conduit or a tool. So when it says here in the scriptures, he deceives them by the means, I believe that this is simply a tool that the New World Order is using um, to deceive those who live on the earth. And I wanted to uh, read you an article here uh, that I pulled up recently about, um, about CERN creating black holes <clears throat> and also looking into other dimensions as well. So let me see if I can find this for you. I saved this here on my phone somewhere. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm sorry for the delay. Let me see if I can find this again. It seems to be uh, eluding me here. <clears throat> anyway, CERN, I believe, is going to be used uh, to create black holes. Um, I was reading an article that was stating that, um, uh, that black holes can be created to look for other dimensions. And scientists believe, uh, those that are operating CERN, that other dimensions exist and that we're simply one of those uh, universe, I'm sorry, universes exist and that we're just one of those universes. Um, so CERN is trying to create uh, extra dimensions. I think I have it here. Uh, extra dimensions, black holes. Okay, I found it. And this is actually from the CERN homepage, extra dimensions, gravitons, and tiny black holes. So what we're seeing here, and this is on the CERN homepage, is people messing with the, the spiritual here. And I do believe that CERN could play a huge role in the, the upcoming lying signs and wonders. I believe that CERN could be one of those means by which those lying signs and wonders come that deceive those who dwell on the earth. Extra dimensions may sound like science fiction, but they could explain why gravity is so weak. It goes on to say here, um, why is gravity so much weaker than the other fundamental forces? A small refrigerator magnet is enough to create an electromagnetic force greater than the gravitational pull exerted by planet Earth. One possibility is that we don't feel the full effect of gravity because part of it sp uh, spreads to extra dimensions. Though it may sound like science fiction, if, if extra dimensions exist, they could explain why the universe is expanding faster than expected. Okay, let me see here. How could we test for extra dimensions? One option would be to find evidence of particles that can exist only if extra dimensions are real. Theories that suggest extra dimensions predict that, in the same way as atoms have low energy ground state and excited high energy states, 
there would be a heavier versions of standard particles in other dimensions. These heavier versions of particles, called kaluza klein states, would have exactly the same properties as standard particles, and so be visible to our detectors. He goes on to say here, uh, microscopic black holes. So I believe what they're doing is making these black holes and, and trying to dig into uh, other universes, quote unquote, or dimensions. And I believe they're messing with the supernatural. And CERN could be used as one of those means that deceives people on the face of the whole earth. Another way of revealing extra dimensions would be through the production of microscopic black holes. What exactly would we detect would depend on the number of extra dimensions the mass of the black hole, the size of the dimensions, and the energy at which the black hole occurs. If micro black holes do appear in the collisions created by the Hadron Collider, they would disintegrate rapidly. They would decay into standard model or uh, supersymmetric particles, creating events containing an exceptional number of tracks in our detectors, which we would spot, which we would easily spot. Finding more on any of these subjects would open the door to yet unknown possibilities. So again, this is coming from the CERN homepage, extra dimensions and tiny black holes. So the black holes would create an opportunity for them uh, to search more deeply uh, into finding extra dimensions. So who knows what could come out of those dimensions? I believe in a supernatural spiritual realm that is not visible to the human eye. Uh, I believe it was Elijah who was out on the battlefield and he asked the Lord to open the eyes of his commander so his commander could see the, the angelic forces around them fighting with them. He said, Lord, open up his eyes so that he can see uh, all who are with us in this battle. And the Lord opened the eyes of this commander and he saw the angelic forces fighting right alongside uh, Israel's forces. There is an unseen realm out there of angels, of demons, of uh, fallen angels, uh, there, there are other dimensions. There are spiritual dimensions that are real, and Scripture cites them. Could CERN be used as one of those means, according to Revelation, as one of those means that is brought about um, to deceive those whose names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, to deceive those who dwell on the earth with lying signs and wonders? Is it possible that their plan is not simply just some earthly plan to... Um, bring about something for something new for science and discovery could it be that there's something supernatural going on here with CERN and could it be used as one of those lying signs and wonders I believe it can remember what Revelation says that he deceives those who dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles and they're lying signs and wonders scriptures tell us what could come out of those dimensions very interesting is it not so if you're interested in doing more research on CERN and lying signs and wonders, I think you should look into that. Uh, also, uh, the very fact that the goddess Shiva is standing on the outside of CERN tells me there is something very, very supernatural going on and very pagan. Uh, God bless you and thank you for listening today.